welcome back to the Bibs booktube channel. My name is Kaylen and today I'm going to be giving you a spooktacular book haul. <laughs> today I am showing you the books I recently purchased in the fall months and also a little sneak peek at my Spookathon TBR. The Spookathon this year will be taking place October 15th through the 21st. I am so excited this year to participate. All the books that I have in this haul, um, half of them are for that, and I just want to read them right now, but I'm telling myself I can't because I gotta wait till Spookathon or else then I'll have nothing to read then. Ooh, the, <laughs> the first book. I'm trying to be a ghost, but obviously I would fail as a ghost. But the first book that I'm gonna be talking about is The Dark Between the Stars by Atticus. Oh look, I got this at Target for 20% off. I took a Target trip not too long ago and I was like, I haven't gotten a poetry book in Target since five ever, so I picked this bad boy up. Being at Target, I always look for a poetry book when I go in there half the time just because it just, I just love reading poetry books and it's something to expand my horizons on and try new things and I don't really look at Goodreads reviews before I purchase them, except for one time I did. But <laughs> anywho, this is the second poem collection by Atticus, and these focus on the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. And I really liked and enjoyed the first one, and I can't get, wait to get back into the second one. Ooh, the next book that I am hauling is An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green, a novel. This takes place in New York City at like 3 a.m., and our girl is 23 years old, which bless because that's all I've wanted to read about for like the past like few years of someone being in their 20s and like YA and it just yes this is what I needed and so they find these mysterious like transformer-esque statues and so they kind of make a video of it and then it goes viral and then these statues are just kind of everywhere it's so intriguing main reason why I picked it up was 23 year old girl which I was like, holla, thank you, because I am 22, going on 23 this year, and it's kind of refreshing to pick up a book that someone is the same age as you, and I think this is gonna be an interesting and intriguing read. This is also a Barnes & Noble Book Club exclusive edition, and they are also holding a book club night where they discuss this book. It's on Wednesday, October 24th at 7 p.m. at your local Barnes & Nobles. This is not a promotion or ad, but I thought I'd just shout that out because hopefully I can read it and maybe attend to it. If not, I'm sure I'll get to it sometime soon since I've heard nothing but good reviews of this. Ooh. The next book I'm going to be talking about is Vicious by V.E. Schwab and I have heard nothing but rave reviews and when this book came out, just look at the cover. It is beautiful. Like, oh, oh, oh book porn cover. I just, it's, it's beautiful. Okay, besides that fact, besides that fact. The book is about two people who started out as college roommates, but then they kind of like turn into rivals as one gets out of prison and then like it's all about villains, anti-hero something. I don't know. It's just a beautiful book and everyone on Goodreads loves it. It's either four or five star reviews and so since this book has been out for a while and they just redid the cover and a sequel was released to it, really excited for this book. I can't wait to get into it. I can't wait to see what all the hype is about. So the next part of the book haul is basically kind of like my TBR for the Spookathon and I'm excited to read these books. I know I'm gonna fly through them in a heartbeat so that's also why I'm excited but the first book, I cannot stop gushing about because it is so cute and that is Fake Blood by Whitney Gardner. I originally saw this book on Jesse the Reader's channel not too long ago, like a couple of weeks ago, and now I'm hooked. Like I saw it and I'm like, this is adorable. I have to have it. And this is the beginning of a new school year. AJ feels like everyone is changing but him. He hasn't grown nor had any exciting summer adventures like his best friends have had, but he decides to take matters into his own hands and he has a crush on a girl and she's only ever had eyes for vampires, but when he finds out that his crush and him are paired up for a group project on Transylvania, it may be his chance to win her affection by dressing up like the vampire hunk of her dreams, but he learns that she's actually a slayer. So I think this is just cute. The inside of this book is absolutely beautiful and stunning. I love the artwork. I love the colors. I love the art. I just, if there's any more books by this author, I am picking them up in a heartbeat because it is just so cute and adorable and I cannot wait to get into this. Next up is another graphic novel that I ended up picking up and this is Sheets by Brenna Thummer. I really haven't heard too much about this. I really don't 
know what it's about besides that we have a girl who's like around the age of 13 and then we have this ghost that that's right there and it takes place in a laundromat and I think that is unique funny cute and adorable can't wait to read this because a ghost in a laundromat and last but not least the last weekend in September I ended up heading out to California to do some exciting labib things that I can't wait to share with you guys in the future so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already but <laughs> Anywho, I went to a used bookstore and I found a whole set of this book series that I've been wanting to read and I knew I couldn't fit it home in my suitcase so I just got the first two books and that is the first two books in the Spiderwick Chronicles and I have never read these when I was little. I never got into them. I never even picked them up. I knew that there was a movie but that was all I knew about these books and they are very short, sweet. They also have images in them as well and the first book is called, the first one is called The Field Guide. The second one is the seeing stone so I got those um they had the entire set but like I said it wouldn't fit in my suitcase and I was gonna be salty that I couldn't take the rest of the series home but at least I wanted to try out the first two books to see what they were like anyways that's gonna be it for this book haul have you read any of the books let me know in the comment section down below or what is your like favorite fall time read are you more of a mystery reader or a thriller or horror suspense whatever let me know in the comment section down below and anyways don't forget to hit like and subscribe and anyways that's gonna be it for this week's Thursday bookish video and I'll see you guys next Thursday